All right, we're here with Dave at the Yamaha booth at the Calgary Motorcycle Show, and we're just checking out the R1M. All new for 2015. Yeah, for 2015, we've got the R1 and the R1M. So, very quickly, the differences between the R1 and the R1M. R1M comes with carbon fiber bodywork. As you can see here, this is not sticker, this is pure carbon fiber. We move on and we've got a, an Olin's electronic racing suspension system and it's integrated to the motorcycle. So that is controlling through the meter assembly and it's controlling the suspension front and rear. Moving on, we've got a hand buffed aluminum fuel tank. And that hand buffing, yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it uh, continues into the, uh, to the swing arm. And to the rear tire, the difference at the rear is 200 series rear tire versus 190 on the regular model and lastly the difference is a CCU unit is standard that's a customer communications unit which is integrated in again into the motorcycle and here you can see the little GPS antenna and this is standard on the R1M and it's an option for the R1. Ah nice that's cool that, that's all new isn't it? Yes. That kind of product. Yep. Is that electronics in here too? So that's the electronics for the electronic front front fork assembly. Ah, wow. Um, I had a question. Is this just for saving weight as well as for the air to go through? It does save weight a little bit, but uh, mostly it is for a good laminar airflow past the rider. So the idea is at very, very high speeds to make the rider more comfortable and not be buffeted and pushed in against the cockpit. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make the, the rider get a more comfortable ride from the air pressure and be able to make sure that he can control the motorcycle well at those high speeds. Wow. That's beautiful. We'll do a 360 here. Um, another question for you. I know someone that's going to buy this bike actually in the next year here. Mm -hmm. So he, he's bought the race model. Yep. Will he be able to utilize all the features of the race model like on the street mm, maybe not necessarily all of them but it'll certainly get the benefit of a good number of those features some of these features in rider aids uh, equal to uh, slide control and braking control and traction control so these are features now which will make the riding of the motorcycle very much more secure and safe for him should he become uh, becoming up against a, a situation that can happen on the street very quickly and in a panic attack situation so he has a better chance of being able to control the motorcycle wow. that's awesome of course this motorcycle is big power we're talking about almost 200 horsepower holy and we're talking also about a very light weight this motorcycle weighs about 200 kilograms in Two, pounds is that how much? That's about pounds? 440 pounds. Wow. And okay. that weight mm -hmm. is fully tanked up and ready to go. So we're talking about a motorcycle. Wet, yeah. <laughs> well, wet weight. Wet weight. 440 wet pounds. Weight. So we're talking about a motorcycle here that's extremely light and extremely fast. Oh, yeah. Wicked. And you got Set to test ride this, I heard. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, how did you find it? I found it by, uh, by just wandering around a corner and there it was. Uh, but more seriously, uh, we did our testing uh, against the other models. We were testing against the BMW 1000, and we were yes, and we were testing it against uh, the old R1, so that we could see what the differences were in between the old R1 and the new. Mm -hmm. And we were also testing it against the CBR 1000 Honda, and also the Ducati Pagali. Ah. And from the test track, nothing nothing is better than giving you the lap time as in terms of a, a performance of a motorcycle mm -hmm. it doesn't lie the numbers yeah and the numbers showed that this guy here was the fastest on the racetrack and it wasn't just under my supervision that it was faster we have five total uh, in our group of testers and every single man was faster on the r1 than the, the next best fastest motorcycle which was in fact actually the bmw and the bmw is a fine motorcycle so for us to be able to beat such a fine motorcycle, we were pretty happy. Uh, was the Kawasaki H2R in there? No, the not H2R, first yet. of all, is is uh, not a street-going motorcycle. The H2 model yeah, is, actually, and it wasn't that's available a good yet. Point. That's, so, this is a good point. This yeah, is a so, street Yeah, legal. this is a street-legal right, motorcycle. Yeah. So, first of all, um, the H2R, they're only going to build well, those to order. 
and they are, what, $50,000, $55,000 a piece versus the H2 model, which is $26,000, and this model, which is $23,000. This is twenty. That's another question I was going to ask you. How much does this retail for? And this is twenty three thousand in this uh, format. The standard model is even better deal at uh, nineteen thousand. I think it's eighteen nine 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 is the suggested retail on this. So, from a standpoint of of, of money, we're right in the uh, right in the right uh, ballpark. And if you look at uh, power to weight versus the H two Kawasaki, uh, if you crunch down the numbers. Mm -hmm. 0.42 horsepower per pound from the H2, 0.44 horsepower per pound on the R1. We get it beat. We, we've got it beat in pounds, pounds to horsepower. To horsepower. Wow. Thank you so much for that information. Actually, you know so much technical knowledge about this bike and compared to the other ones in the market, that's something I, I haven't met anyone that actually knew all that differences. This is my, uh, my passion in life is motorcycles. I've worked in this industry all my life, mm -hmm. and I'm uh, extremely happy to be able to uh, pass some of that knowledge on to you today. Thank you so much. Thank um, you. Last question is uh, LED lights here. Mm -hmm. That's These really are just special. The lights, and oh. also LED underneath here. These are the actual headlights themselves. And the reason that we put them separately to the fairing is that under a racetrack condition, you can remove the bolts and drop the headlight assembly completely away from the motorcycle. And take them away for the track? Take them away for the track. Oh wow, instead of covering a tape like everyone else does. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's and high that tech. way we, we retain all of the, the full uh, slipperiness that the fairing is designed to be. Wow, awesome. Thank you so much, Dave. I really appreciate all the information. You're very welcome. I'll let you know what this, when this video is uploaded and I'll send you a link. Awesome. Thank Thanks you. to everybody at Black